Hey guys, Breg here and welcome back to the next episode in the Classic Gold Challenge. Now I have been fairly busy recently and I've got quite a lot done on the game so that's good. Uh, I got to level 49 on my mage which is pretty good progress. I was just farming a Zulfarak and I'll go into a bit of detail on that later. So yeah, that was fun. And I've also been doing quite a few flips and crafting a few things and it's time to open up the mail and I think it's going to be a pretty big one. So as you can see we have 126 sold mails, I hope. And uh, in the first lot we have 200 gold already. Uh, we look through, we've got a moon cloth we made, we've got some potions, we have ourselves some more potions, some tailoring gear, some uh, spider silk that I've been flipping and some core leather that I've been flipping. I'll go into some detail about that in a bit and then just some more general things so let's open up the mail now and I'll show you kind of more detail in a little bit. So in the next lot of mail we have 214 gold so we've already had 414 gold in this mailbox. Uh, again a lot of potions that we've been selling, uh, a lot more of my black dragon scale. This was another thing I was flipping, I'll show you guys in a little bit. Some more core leather, more black dragon scale. Uh, so yes, another 214 gold. Very nice. And in the final lot of mail we have 140. So yeah, again, potions, uh, potions, tailoring gear. Uh, nothing too exciting here, but still. 140 the frost weave stuff sold which is good because that's quite expensive to make and yeah so 414 plus 140 is 550 like 555 gold in the mail uh, so that's by far our biggest mailbox ever on this challenge and we're now on 560 gold which is Kind of the most gold we've have on this challenge. In fact, we're over that. We're at 566, and my main character, I'm pretty sure, is like 10 gold as well. So we're on about 575 gold across the account, and we still have quite a few of my flips that haven't actually sold yet. So if we just look here, got a couple of core leathers coming through. We've got some more ironweb spider silk, uh, which I was flipping, and we have some more core leather stack of nine which I'm flipping so yeah a few things that will sell pretty quickly that's gonna get me another sort of um, 30 gold 40 gold something like that so we should be at over 600 gold very soon but I am pleased with how all of that's gone okay so these are the three things I've been flipping over the past few days so we bought 29 black dragon scale at uh, 86 silver on average and we resold for one gold 40 on average so that's over 50 silver profit times what like 30 so we made 15 gold just from that flip then our core leather we haven't sold it all yet but uh, we bought for an average of one gold 16 we resold for an average of one gold 48 so that's just over 30 silver profit per one times 56 which is about 17 or 18 gold which is great and then our iron web spider silk we bought for an average of 50 silver resold for an average of 70 we've only sold kind of half of what we bought so far but still we've sold 30 so far at 20 silver profit so that's six gold overall and hopefully it'll be another six gold profit when we sell the rest of that i haven't quite sold all the core leather either uh, we're just waiting on that one but the core leather right now I'm trying to sell it for like over two gold so it should be even more profit so if you add all that together I don't know but it's going to be something like 30 gold or 40 gold profit uh, that we've made just from those flips uh, which is very good because it's something anyone can do all I did was I searched the auction house using my shopping scan I looked to see what items were fairly cheap and then I kind of pretty stacked so I found that, say for example, I found the iron web spider silk was fairly cheap. So I bought up all the ones that were kind of below 50 silver. 
and I reposted them for 70 silver in stacks of 10 and it worked out pretty well. Same with the core leather. So I bought out all the ones which were like just uh, around one gold each on average and I relisted them for like two gold each. And right now I'm trying to sell these for two gold 59 which is quite expensive. Um, and I could in theory buy all of these out and then relist them for the same price but it's quite risky and I don't really feel like doing that at the moment because I've just been selling a lot of leather. Uh, but still, you guys know what I mean. You look for the break point. Here there's a huge break point between 1 gold 30 and 2 gold 60. So you could just buy all of these out and relist them for the 2 gold 60 price if you wanted. But like I say, I've kind of already done that and uh, 1 gold 30 is kind of not amazing. Like I'd prefer to buy it for less. I bought for an average of 1 gold 15, so... I'm just going to leave that there, but someone probably will buy these out and they will probably make a pretty nice profit. So that's good for them. So yeah, this is what I've been selling the last seven days apart from that. So the Frostweave gear it costs us about 13 gold to make, so I'm not actually making this much per item. Uh, what else do we have? Mooncloth, obviously. Our Dreamweave circlet, that actually is really good, it only costs about 3 gold to make. Uh, some transmog gear which we've just found, not transmog gear sorry, uh, just uh, leveling gear which we found in some dungeons, uh, there's my formula, some of my uh, recipes, usually I buy the recipes from vendors, I'll probably do a whole other video on where to buy good vendor recipes to sell, and then it's just all sorts of different tailoring gear, and yeah I've also made quite a lot of elixir of uh, shadow power. I'm actually going to log on to my main now and see if that's still profitable because we might be able to sell some. So here I am on my main character. As you can see, level 49. Only just. Uh, we have ourselves 8 gold on this guy. And nothing too profitable for alchemy apart from the swim speed potion. So I might make a few of them since they're kind of overpriced at the moment so uh, we might be able to make some gold from them so yeah just gonna craft away so I made myself uh, 20 of the swim speed potions we'll see if we can sell them when they are crazily overpriced if we can we'll make like 15 gold or something <laughs> just from some swim speed potions so that would be good and yeah, then the mage weave gear always sells pretty well. The black mage weave gear. A couple of gold profit for each one. And the shirts, again, sell surprisingly well. I was like, who would buy a shirt in classic? But people seem to love their shirts. So, uh, yep, I'll make some of those. There we go. And I'm actually going to do quite a big flip right now. I'm going to flip every single ghost mushroom on the auction house and resell it for quite a lot. Uh, they're all priced quite cheap and I think I could flip it. Uh, I've got the gold to do it and I'm just going to YOLO it. We'll see what happens. Let us go guys. So I'm going to buy out every single mushroom. I think there's about 200 on there. So it's going to end up costing me about 150 gold or so, which is quite a lot. But they are underpriced compared to normal. And uh, Ghost Mushroom is a herb which is very much sought after, so it's definitely something which uh, could be used to our advantage. So there we go guys, overall I bought 250 Ghost Mushroom, I'm now the only person with Ghost Mushroom on the auction house. Um, I bought them for an average of 84 silver each, which is well below market value, and I've tried to relist them for 1 gold 60, so double what I bought them for. Probably won't end up selling them for that price, but if I can get, even if I can sell them for an average of kind of one gold, then I'm still going to get sort of 10 to 15 silver each per profit, which times 250 would be 25 gold profit, which is really nice. So even if it goes all the way down to one gold, I'm still going to make profit, but I'm confident that uh, hopefully we can make a nice bit of gold with this. It's a pretty risky flip. I spent over 200 gold on it. Probably more like 300, uh, yeah, over 200 gold, but uh, should be worth it if we can get some uh, nice reward from it. So what I think I'm going to do with these ghost mushrooms is just keep them posted for high. I don't care if they 
don't sell in a few days. I'm just going to keep them up there and eventually they should sell. It's going to make my gold go down for the sake of the challenge, but uh, realistically in the long term it's going to be good. And if they don't sell anyway, I can just turn them into potions. You know, invisibility potions, shadow power, and limited vulnerability. Particularly the shadow power, which uses three. So I can make 80 shadow power potions with all of the ghost mushroom that I have. And shadow power potions sell really well. I usually sell 20 of those a day anyway, so uh, I could easily sell more than that if I wanted to. And that's the key thing when you're flipping things, guys. You always need to kind of think about what else you can do with it or at least have a backup plan so if you buy something can you turn it into something else or can you keep it for a long time or can you do whatever like if you have multiple things you can do with that item then even if the price just uh, doesn't go the way you want it to you can just do something else and I think that's quite important man I love being a mage just got messaged I teleport to Orgrimmar, two gold. Make him a teleport, it gives me two gold. Easy. I uh, usually sell them for one gold, but if someone's offering me two, I am happy to oblige. There's another portal down. I really should start advertising for these. I never do, I just uh, wait till people slash yell that they want a portal. Anyway guys, it is the next day, and the battlegrounds have come out. They seem to just... I don't know if they told us they were coming out or they just kind of randomly came out, but yeah, Battlegrounds are out apparently and a couple of other things are out like the keychain and some other stuff. So that's all very exciting uh, and it should mean hopefully that there'll be more people buying some potions and some other gear and stuff like that, which can only be a good thing. Anyway, so yesterday we bought the ghost mushrooms out for about 80 silver each. We've already sold two stacks of 20, so that's about one-sixth of the amount we bought. Uh, the rest of them haven't sold, but like I say, we can always just turn them into potions, and I'm happy with just leaving them for a while until the price goes back up. But yeah, uh, we sold them for one gold 20 each, these, and we bought them for 80, so that's 40 silver profit per one. So per stack, that's uh, eight gold profit, so two stacks we sold, so 16 gold profit from this lot of ghost mushrooms and hopefully the rest will be kind of similar uh, anything else just a uh, core leather again we bought it for like one gold one gold 15 and sold it for one gold 90 so that's a really big profit <laughs> we sold these for 123 which isn't much profit but yeah this is a really big profit and yeah all looking good and again about two gold each for this stack of five so again a really big profit um, and that's how I'm going to continue just uh, doing these sort of flips because that's what's going to get us the steady gold that we are looking for uh, but let's go over to my main character and see what crafting we can do because I think it's going to get very busy in a couple of hours time as the battlegrounds are out which should mean some good sales for us so yep I just sent over the ghost mushroom to my main or well, some of the ghost mushroom because uh, it's very profitable to make elixir of shadow powers right now so some of the mushrooms that I bought yesterday I can still make profit from them just with my crafting so I'm going to do that uh, and I'm making some other stuff as well quite a few things are profitable today and I just got paid another two gold to portal someone to Orgrimmar don't know why everyone wants a portal today I need to just kind of AFK in Undercity more often people just whisper me asking uh, asking to buy a portal for two golds so that's very useful for me okay guys well I thought posting six would uh, wait a while would uh, take a long time to sell but it's sold instantly so what am I gonna do I am going to go and post some more I was planning on just flipping my ghost mushrooms but if people really want them as the potions that badly and the potions are selling for really nice profit, then uh, I am perfectly happy to keep on making them. Okay guys, so I'm just doing the Zulfarak farm on my main to get some XP and hopefully some cool stuff. 
but it's very painful doing this when people don't have a clue what to do. This guy literally made a group, a Zolfrat graveyard farm group, but he doesn't seem to have ever done it before, he doesn't have a clue what he's doing. And I'm like, why are you even making a group? And now look, I've just pulled them all and none of them are AoEing, so that's a good start yet again. It's just a very painful thing to deal with, guys. Very painful. But it is good XP, so you just have to uh, kind of accept the pain, because uh, you can't say no to this XP. Anyway, guys, that's going to be about it, but I just want to show you the madness that has been happening. <laughs> so, uh, look. Look all the Elixir of Shadow Powers that I've sold. I just kept making them, and people kept buying them. So then I just upped the price dramatically. And now I've been selling them for pretty much f uh, four gold each. Uh, all of these stacks of five selling for like 19 gold. So um, pretty much four gold each when usually they're like two gold 50 each or three gold each. So I've been making over one gold per elixir. Like a one gold 50 almost per elixir. So when I sell my stack of five I make seven gold. So that's like seven, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42. That's like 50 gold profit I've made just in the past hour, just making elixirs, and now I've completely run out, I'm going to have to make some more. Uh, I presume the ghost mushrooms might have run out by now, but, um, I mean, they're expensive, but they're still there. They're still well worth uh, investing in, and yeah, uh, it's been a fun evening, in fact... I might as well just sell the ghost, ghost mushrooms are almost at the price that I was flipping them at earlier. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so we have 155 gold in sold auctions, which is great. And we've just sold some more stuff. Everything's just selling right now. This is like prime time. I'm loving it. Uh, but yeah, uh, 155 gold in sold auctions, then 343 gold in the mail. Wow, so we've actually hit uh, 600 gold. I've got 100 gold here. I've got a bit on my main character. 343 here. And 155 in uh, sold auctions are about to come through. So that is 600 gold. Uh, I said I was uh, thinking about hitting it over the next uh, day or two. And uh, we have hit it. We've made 600 gold. And look at all the rest of the stuff that's on the auction house. We've got 750 gold in posted auctions, lots of which are great. I mean, this just sold, so that's an extra thing. Uh, we've got a lot of expensive tailoring gear. We've got still some more of the ironweb spider silk that I've been flipping. We've got a load more elixirs and potions, and we've just got so much stuff, guys. Uh, I mean, I think we're going to hit 1,000 gold pretty soon, which is great. Like I say, already on 600, probably more like uh, 700, to be honest. Once all those potions sell, it'll be over 700. And then, yeah, we're getting pretty close to, uh, to the 1,000 gold mark. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, until next time, see ya.